Okay, delighted to be joined by under 18s manager Matthew Etherington, Academy manager Kieran Scarf after today's 2 1 victory over South End, which clinched the Youth Alliance League title. We'll start with you, Matthew, um, on the game itself. Um, I mean, you created so many chances, but it went down to the wire. It did, yeah, we definitely made it um, hard work of it, shall we say. Um, I thought we started the game okay um, and then gradually got worse. The lads seemed nervous today with what was on the game and, and they knew that they, they needed to win it. Um, but second half after um, speaking to them at half time, I thought we were better um, and we created numerous chances throughout the game, to be honest. Um, but there was, a, there was just a little bit of hastiness in front of goal and um, poor choices made at times. But one thing you've got to say about the players and, and they've done it consistently this season is there's a real togetherness about them and a resilience. And they showed that again today. Um, and their quality shone through in the end. Um, albeit we've played a lot better this season, but I was just really pleased for them because they yeah. deserve it. And they're a pleasure to work with every day. They, they really do try. Um, their attitudes are spot on. Um, and they strive to get better and develop. And, and when you do that, um, you get your rewards. Kieran, yeah, obviously um, you were there obviously watching the game today and it actually came all down to a management decision, didn't it, in terms of Adler Nascimento coming off the bench and, and ended up to score the winner. I mean, what would you, you make of the performance and, and ultimately the success that's been achieved? In terms of the performance, it's, it's, it's like May's just said, he's described the game absolutely spot on. And listen, as a as a manager, he got his he got his substitution spot on, that is for certain. You know, the substitutes all had an impact. Adler obviously having a big impact. Luke Harris, when he came on, was very good as well. Uh, and Nicky as well. I think they, they all had a real impact. So, so full credit to, to Matty and Si on, on that one. And in terms of the achievement, it's, it's a massive achievement. You know, um, sometimes the word winning can become a little bit like a swear word when you're talking about developing players. But uh, it, for me, it's, it's so important. You know, it breeds confidence. It, it helps create the environment you want to create. Um, you know, we go, we set about, we place a real importance on winning games at under 18 level, but an importance in winning the what, games the way we want to win the games. You know, we, we don't sacrifice our principles to do that. Um, and it's it's all credit to to the players, as Matty said, the way they apply themselves every single day is is great. They're a really good group. Their their attitude to to work is, is spot on, and and it's also it's got to be said, it's great recognition and, and fully deserved for, for Matty, for Cy, for the, for the standard of coaching that they give these boys day in, day out, and the level of support they give these boys day in, day out. And, and obviously, you've got James and Ev in terms of medical and sports science support. And you've got the analysis support with Adam. You know, the, the quality of work that, that Matty Dice you know, does, does with, with the coaches and with the players, Sam Gochran with the recruitment. It's a real team effort, you know. Um, Ryan Semple, the work that he's done recently with, 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 with this group. But, you know, Matty, Matty and Si lead the group. They lead the group of staff and, and they've done a, a superb job ever since I've come back to the club. Um, and, and it's great to see that and, and they fully deserve the recognition they're getting. Yeah, Matthew, when you, when you win the league last year, obviously at the start of this season, of course you want to win it again, but it was always going to be difficult to do it the second year running, particularly given the injuries that you've had. And obviously a lot of the players have been in the first team group as well. So, that says a lot about managing the group, but also, as you say, what the players have achieved as well. Yeah, it's been um, a difficult season in many respects. Um, obviously, with what's going on globally, it's been difficult and it's difficult for everybody. And we know we're extremely fortunate to be going to work every day um, because a lot of people can't. And we know we're extremely fortunate to do that. So we can't waste that opportunity, um, first and foremost. But... Yeah, we face adversity this year in, in terms of a footballing context. Um, we've had injury to forward players at the start of the season. Um, Hamid, uh, Lewis Darlington, Adler. Um, obviously, Ricky was with the first team. Um, Flynn the same. So we, we were struggling in forward areas and got off to a slow start. Um, and then it's just been a continuation of that, really. Kellum got injured early as well. Today, we were out without Benjamin Mensah, who's for me, being an integral part of everything we've done this year in the youth team. He's been outstanding and, and rightly been rewarded with a contract. Um, but the players and, and the character of the players, and I mentioned that earlier, has really shone through. And then that's a pleasing thing to see. And, and that's what will get you a career in the game, first and foremost, is that character. And they've shown that in abundance. And, and no matter who's played, they've all contributed in, in some way. 
Um, and that's what I'm really, really proud of. It's, it's definitely a, a better achievement than, than last year, in my opinion, with, with what's been thrown at us. Um, and, and that's why I'm just so proud of the players and, and, and all the staff, like, like Scarfy just mentioned, that they've all played their part and, and done some brilliant work. And recently, obviously, with the YDP phase and, and the foundation phase um, not running, we've got obviously Sempson, Matty Dye, Sam Gokran, and actually got some really good detailed work into the players um, in smaller groups, which has really helped them as well, I think. So we've utilised that and um, it's gone well. Yeah, Kieran, we were saying earlier on that you know, I can't remember an under-18 side winning back-to-back -back titles, certainly not in my time. Uh, you're slightly older than me and, and you can sort of uh, uh, agree that it's gone a bit further and obviously with your connections with the football club, even within your family, we can't think of a, a side that have done it back-to-back. -back. It says a lot about what's been achieved by, by Matty, Sai and the players. Uh, absolutely. I, mean, I, I was going back to sort of the late 70s, early 80s when when my dad was doing the job and he had, he had some really good players that, that come out of that group, but um, I'm pretty certain they didn't win the league. Um, and, I, and I don't recall anything, obviously, having lived locally for such a long time. I don't I don't recall it happening, certainly not back to back. Um, and, and to achieve anything in consecutive years, it takes some doing to maintain those standards. And as Matty said, you know, in terms of the difficulties that, that COVID has presented to us this year that we've that we've dealt with really, really well, you know. Um, you know, adjusting in terms of how we train and not being able to use the indoor spaces and, you know, having team meetings on Zoom on a, fr on a Friday evening. Um, all these things that the staff have put in place, that the players have just gone with it, you know. And I think, as Matty said, everybody understands and appreciates how, how fortunate we are to carry on to be able to carry on working um, and they've just embraced that and they've just gone with it um, and there's it's been a it's been a great couple of years for the academy it's it's been a really productive year this year you know when you look at the fact that obviously they've won the league again we're still in the league cup in the semi-final we're waiting to see who we're going to play in that we're still in the FA Youth Cup hopefully that will restart we've had numerous professional contracts been awarded to this group um, out of the second year group that is Six of them that are currently on professional, you know, had a professional contract given to them. Um, and listen, there might be more than that yet. Who, who knows? You know, um, there's still time for for others to maybe achieve that as well. You know, ne next year, as a minimum, we're going to have ten players on professional contracts under the age of twenty, which really tells us a lot about uh, where this club wants to go with its young players and, and the commitment to that. Um, it's, been a, it's just been a hugely successful period of time and you know, I just want to thank everybody for, for their input into that. Yeah, without embarrassing Matty because he is sitting on the screen at this moment in time, he's very young in his coaching career but what him and Simon do on a day-to-day -day basis um, should really be applauded because it's not just about you know, managing a team, it's managing players, it's managing different types of players, all going through different things at different points, particularly thrown in with COVID this year, I mean, in terms of a CV, it's a great start. Uh, it is. They are the, They are obviously, I suppose, inexperienced or, or gaining experience as coaches. Of course, they are. Every, everybody has a starting point from there. But what, what the, their work ethic's brilliant. Their work ethic's great. Their attention to detail is great. Their their knowledge of the game obviously is is so good. Obviously, given the the extensive playing careers they've had. Um, and they use, they've used that knowledge um, to create a, a great environment for the kids to develop. You know, um, they've got high standards, which you need to have, they've got clear boundaries, and, and they're really positive. And, and the detail they give the boys is, is really good. Um, you know, they deserve so much credit, the pair of them, for the way they've worked with them. Yeah, and Matty, when you came back to the football club, I remember speaking to you and Simon and saying that you wanted to obviously come back and, and sort of give something back to the club that sort of gave you the opportunity. But I think, what, two, three years down the line and you're sort of looking back on what you've achieved personally, as well as obviously the your assistant, Simon, and, and, the, and the team itself. You must be proud of, of how things have gone as well because you have to give yourself a pat on the back when things like this happen. Like I said, Phil, when I first joined, it's all about giving back to the club because the club gave me my opportunity to have a career in the game um, in terms of playing. And now I've been lucky enough that they give me a, a chance um, to have a coaching career in the game. And, and you know, things are going well. We're not going to rest on our laurels. And, and ultimately, my job is to get these players in the first team on a consistent basis. And that's the next step. Um, they need to be good enough to do that. So 
Um, we'll keep working with them in that respect. We've got a lot of good young talent um, and, and the manager, if he feels they're good enough, knows, we know as an academy that they'll play. So now it's about getting that consistency in them, which you don't always find with young players and some of them need time. Um, but the, the structure in place is, is a brilliant one to work in from, from Scarfy all the way down in the academy. Um, you're allowed to express yourself and, and go with things and, and think differently and, and it, it's, it's going really, really well. And, and the relationship obviously with the first team as well with, with the manager is, is really, really good, really strong. Um, the fact that he was there today after training says everything you need to know about that. And um, it, it's just the, the club's in a really good place and there's a real unity about it. Yeah, Matty, you're never going to replicate playing because no one ever can. I mean, I can't speak for Kieran, obviously he didn't quite make the level that you did as a, as a player. But, um, you know, every player that retires and goes into coaching says it's never, it's never the same, but you can get somewhere close to it. And I guess mm. as, a, as a coach, when you have success on the pitch, it's great. But I guess you get more pride in seeing young players, you know, getting through to the first team, expressing themselves. Yeah. And over the last two years, you've seen a whole host of players do that. That's the role. You know, we want to get to the point where they're in the first team consistently and they're performing week in, week out for the first team. That's where we need to get to. Um, but we're getting there and I feel like we will get to that point. Um, but, you know, our young players still need work. All players need work, especially our young ones. So, um, you know, it, we create stuff. You mentioned it earlier. I think a winning mentality under 18 level is important, but you can still develop alongside that as well. And I feel like we've got the balance right. Um, and, and things are looking good, but it's not a time to stand still. It's a time to keep moving forward and, and keep producing players and, and players that are ready for the first team. And Kieran, we, we talk about obviously bringing players through the academy, and it's not just obviously the coaching style of that. You've got to recruit them into the academy. Is that something that has really, not to speak uh, ill of people previously, but obviously it's improved because obviously you get players through now into the, into the first team group. That must be vital for, for an academy success. Yeah, we, we did adjust the structure in, or the, the way of working in terms of recruitment. Um, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, I asked, I suppose, some some real questions of, of Sam and the recruitment department and full credit to him because he, he, he went with that and he ran with it, which is really the recruitment that he is responsible for last year in terms of the, the first years that we brought in to... To ultimately to, to to bring the players into the club that have got the right potential, as Matty said, to to then ultimately go and play in the first team and on a consistent basis, we think we've got more players now capable of doing that. And and you know Sam deserves a lot of credit for for his role in that. You know it's probably you know it's probably the most important job. He would love me saying that, Sam. But it's, probably, it's, it's so it's so important, you know, because you you get the right potential in front of the right coaches. You know, you you're own, you're going in the right direction, and and, and that's and that's got to be our aim. Something as Matty, as Matty said, what we you know we enjoy, we enjoy this. The players enjoy it even more, but we have to carry on now. We carry on moving forwards, and the next step is now getting, you know, we've got, we're getting a large number of young professional players, and it's about getting a number of young professional players who are then playing on a regular basis in the first team. As Matty said, that's the next challenge, and and that work. That work's already started in terms of the conversations we're having after the game. Um, you know, we'll, we'll then enjoy the, the rest of the weekend and then we'll be back at it on Monday Monday morning. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good place to be the club. We're developing some really good players. We're developing some really good staff, which is really important to note as well. You know, right, right the way through from, from coaches into sort of sports science and medical staff, recruitment staff. Um, so the club's in a really good place. We're getting loads of support and we're really looking forward to what should be an exciting few years. And Matty, just finally, before I let you two go and have a glass of wine, um, in terms of, uh, you know, you, you talk about the next sort of stage, you st as you say, you're still in the League Cup semi-final, you're still in the FA Youth Cup. Um, it'd be great to, to add a, a trophy to another trophy, wouldn't it? It will. And, and we, like I said, we set our target to win the league. We tick that one off. Um, and we set a target to, to win the Youth Alliance Cup. So we're in the semi-final of that. Um, I think that will take place around mid to late March, um, the next round. And um, the FA Youth Cup, we'll see what happens. But we're, we're in a good place there as well, we'll seeing the third round. Um, and we'll wait and see. It's just about now, um, especially the second years, they'll, they'll come away a little bit from the 18s group and, and go and train more regularly with the 23s and get stretched. I think that's important that they're challenged and their development continues. Um, and... We've done it the last two years and we'll do it again. The, the, the 17s now on next year's 18s group will 
we'll start getting together and, and getting to know each other. So that's what it looks like going forward. And, and like Scarfy said, continues on Monday, but we'll definitely um, take some time at the weekend just to sit back and reflect on, on this achievement and, and then go to work on Monday.